These aluminum slugs are being formed into cylinders that will soon become beverage containers. It's the beginning of the production process here at Exol in Youngstown. They've been manufacturing aluminum containers since 1993. We not only design the product in, in parallel with the, the brands, but we then um, you know, turn a, a slug, an aluminum slug, into a, a finished aluminum either aerosol container or beverage container. Michael Mapes is the CEO of Exol, which manufactures products for brands such as Barbasol, Budweiser, Uptime Energy, and many others. We're working hand-in-hand -hand with their design teams to you know, get the, the best uh, packaging out on the shelf, really to differentiate um, different brands so that it stands out and the consumer uh, wants to pick it up off the shelf and use it. Mape says it's a great time to be in the aluminum packaging industry because companies are looking to stand out and be seen as a premium brand. Fortunately, because of our manufacturing process, we have the unique capability to shape aluminum uh, into lots of different shapes and sizes. And after the slug gets extruded, it comes through the line and it, gets, it goes through an ironer. That ironer takes the walls of the container and thins them out and elongates them. And then it's the edges of the container, they're not even, so we need to trim them to make it even. So the trim cans then go through a washer. After they go through the washer, they'll go through an oven. And when they come out, they're really clean and shiny, as you can see up at the top. After the oven, it comes through the inside liner. So apply an, a liner on the inside of the product, depending on whether it's a beverage product or a aerosol product, we put different liners on the inside to protect the product. We're applying a base coat to the container so that it can get ready to apply the graphics, which is the next part of the lithography process, which you'll see here. You'll see that the graphic is applied here and ultimately it comes out the other side finished. So the cylinder goes through each facing of the necker and ultimately comes out as a finished beverage bottle. they've gotten shaped, they're coming on a conveyor which will ultimately get fed down into a palletizer so that the products can be shipped out. Making sure the cans stand out is the responsibility of Director of R&D Tom Chupak. It's very, very important for the, for the innovation side because we have to stay, you know, on top of uh, new, new designs, you know, eye-catching for the, the consumer so they'll grab it off the shelf. Chupac says he's always testing out different ways to differentiate a container from its competition. We have a lot of new product designs and shapes uh, hitting the market and due to hit the market. The Youngstown plant employs 300 workers capable of making up to one and a half million units in 24 hours. Those cans are then shipped out all across North America. Exol also has plants in Brazil and Argentina that produce aluminum containers for the South American market. To continue to uh, be at the forefront uh, as a leader in premium aluminum packaging, you got to continue to invest in not only the assets, which we've done, but we've also invested in people and capabilities. Last year, Exol invested over $30 million across the three locations. This year, they plan to invest roughly $10 million at the Youngstown location alone. We're pumping in a lot of capital into the facility to uh, provide advanced shaping capabilities, advanced uh, printing and graphic capabilities, and ultimately to be able to satisfy the demand in the, in the marketplace. Youngstown State University is committed to being a leader in additive manufacturing education. Learn more at ysu.edu.